around for the show. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to, to our, our classroom. classroom. As you can see, we have a whiteboard, so you guys can be taking notes as well. Get out your pens or papers or whatever you use, or just keep your uh, listening caps on. Because class is now in session. So, I'm wondering how many of our users have thrown away their formula sheets from the good old math days in high school, you know? Mm -hmm. Did you ever skip math class when you were younger? No, I loved math. I actually had a crush <laughs> on all my math teachers, yeah, so once, yeah. I was always in those advanced math classes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I was a, I was an okay math nerd. I was forced to take them to calculus too. So that's I remember you say forced. It's yeah, like, it was forced. forced. Like, yeah, literally. we all were forced we were, to take every subject. Well, yeah. I was actually forced because of the classes I took in college. Yeah. Like my, my like uh, oh, like my econ and my uh, my like physics class. Like I had to take. They all required mm -hmm. certain levels of calculus. But yeah, because everything is connected. Ever thought when the fuck am I going to use? All of these math formulas I'm learning, we didn't learn how to use or do our taxes, but we learned all of this math stuff. <laughs> so now in the real world, we're we're out of college, recently out of college too. Like uh, one year to be exact. Uh, yeah, six months for me. <laughs> how long have you been at? Yeah, but um, um, yeah. So we're here in the real world. You know, let's fucking take all of the knowledge we've learned and make you have some fun with it. I guess maybe like when related to the human instincts of pleasure and, and sex. Understand that every everything you're doing involves some form of mental calculation. Whether you're thinking about it or not, like one of the things you're saying, like, oh like when you're switching positions, when you're in that awkward like calculation part and you're trying to figure out pe like pieces of bodies like together, mm -hmm. I guess, you know. Mm -hmm. All of that's going on in your head. So feeling knowing get to know the person that you are with and what makes them feel comfortable, what makes them feel pleasure, because all these formulas are subjective to each person, subjective to each problem, one yeah. professor might say, <laughs> or your high school teachers. Yeah, your high school teacher, your math teacher, like if you're a math teacher right now, if that's what your profession is and you're listening to this, Oh, the classroom. <laughs> they'll learn. I promise you. You, you, will listen. You, I think you'll get a kick out of it. You know what I mean? We, me and Gabby. Well, Gabby was a mathematics nerd in college. I mean, in high school, and I was a physics yeah. nerd in college. Uh, we're still math and physics nerds. Mm -hmm. So we like, hey, we try to. You know, it's not like we're doing. I'm not doing any classes right now in math or <laughs> physics, but we're trying to relate it to our real life. This is the school of life. Isn't life just and one make giant our own learning? Our series of life. We and are philosophers. We are like, you know how the you world read is our classrooms and people's quotes. Why can't our names be at, the, be at the end of these quotes in our own theories, you know? So. Exactly. If it was all made up, we can also make some stuff up, too. Exactly. So, um, this is where we bring to you the mathematics and physics of sex at Stream More Consciousness Podcast. We hope you fucking like it. Please like and subscribe. Oh, that's please. What's helpful. Oh, oh, please send it to your friends, your mom, your grandma, just, just whoever needs uh, some fucking sex math in their life. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, play this live, I guess. Uh, you'll, you'll learn some stuff, but regardless, stick around for the ride and take a trip with us. So, session one, ladies and gentlemen. Just take it away. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start you off. You guys remember the quadratic formula. This was a hard one over here. We can, we're going to make it even harder for you, okay? So, we were thinking, how can we make the quadratic formula be sexual? Well, what is quad? Quad is four. Okay, quad way right there. Why do people skip? Right? You, you hear people talking about three ways? But I never hear it. Just they skip to orgies right away, I feel like. I know, right? And this is like a great position, like just a quick little add-in. Great position for two couples. Two just couples, saying. Or two, right? two yes. friends. Two, like, two <gasps> pairs friends. of friends. Two pairs of friends. You gotta so have friends another friend. frisky. And you just like, want to get to know each other in this yeah. way. Yeah. Start. It's easier. Maybe it's, it's less... It's less intimidating starting with one-on-one, -on -one, right? So you have that ability to pick a partner, start one-on-one. -on -one. 
yeah, chill with them. Out. And then yeah. the, the room is feeling the frisky vibe. After that is in play, <laughs> everyone knows the vibe. Everybody knows, knows the, the vibe. After vibe. That. So yeah. I've never personally done this myself. <laughs> I can't say this either. I don't think we've done any of it. So we didn't test out the theory yet, but just. Just imagine it. Just, just imagine. Yeah, you know what? This is it. this is where. Yeah. It's it sounds good in theory, and uh, get back to us if you want to try it out. Um. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what is the actual formula? So, what you remember from math class is probably x equals b plus or minus the square root of b plus four ac over two a. Now, what does that actually mean? You want to know? In sex terms, I'm talking. Sex equals bad, plus or minus, add or, you know, whatever your preference is, plus or minus, the square root of bitches plus four ass cocks over two asses. It's, it's, it's kind it's of intense. It's spelled tense. out there. It's spelled out you there. Know? We spelled it out into the formula. You know what I mean? Sex equals bad, plus or minus, square root of bitches, four ass cocks so over honestly, two asses. So honestly, I'm going to add something to the formula, and I don't know. Oh, impromptu. So, oh, so it only is addressing okay. cocks, but we should look at cunts too because cunt does mean vagina that and does, like, does address true. both you know what i mean and like i know people have a negative connotation that's a very controversial word like calling people a cunt of course yeah but, but think it's about it to the the sexual in yeah. a sexual way so i just wanted to add that on right. that is how you and your three other whoever humans oh, you want to yeah, kind of set that up with and um you're thinking right now in your yeah. head that maybe we'll be down yeah for, you're thinking you know, in your head know, plus you or minus have, yeah. bitches oh i got four asses <laughs> over here and two asses over there like yeah. you can start putting things together it's spelled out for you and you're gonna get your own formula sheet at the end of yeah. class so make sure don't lose it should you keep that yeah. uh, because it's going to help you on the open notes exam. Exactly. But again, if you need help with anything after in office hours, please yeah. come we'll to do us. appointment only, so please just DM us and we'll let you know. And uh, we'll give you a Google Calendar invite. <laughs> I'm all about that Google Calendar yeah. invite. I think that's where this is coming from. But let's move on. All right, let's get into some physics, my fucking shit. So we went from algebra and now transitioning to physics. Right. Yes. All right, we're going now into the oral formula. Now, in physics, you're given some things, right? Because all of these formulas have letters, but sometimes, obviously, with math, you need to have the context what these letters are. What do they mean? How do you you have to calculate variables. sometimes individual? Yeah. yeah, they're variables. You have to calculate every individual, and we're going step one, like basics. Um, so these are some of your givens, and I gave you some of that. But the four, the two formulas, like you know what I mean, that's um, going to be the most important is in coming to sex in physics. Two most obvious formulas that can come up with my head from my previous physics knowledge was pressure and force, right? Because it's what's happening during sex. You know what I mean? It's natural physics. We have natural physics, so you want to calculate how much pressure you should you should exert on your partner. It depends on what body part, what section. You know what I mean? This what is area, where what, that means with section, what area? Yeah, so we have pressure, right? And that is calculated by force over area. And now this is where we come in as licensed philosophers to say when you're applying a natural science to a non kind of very quantum, well, it can be quantified, we're clearly quantifying it, but something that's not been quantified in the past, it's all subjective. You know what I mean? Humans are so subjective, and that's where philosophy in physics comes into play mm -hmm. you know what i mean you like the area you're going to be working with very different areas mm -hmm. with people of all different body types etc you know what i mean like what specific area you're working on you're concentrating that pressure or force on you know what i mean you can't go um, measuring that yeah like you're not going to be <laughs> like a quantif, quantitative size that measures exactly that, so this is where that's I when put... you come into the theory and like thinking about it so this is where we have our givens. Area A, capital A equals force. I mean, capital A equals area, capital F equals force, capital P equals pressure. So we have pressure equals force over area. Area, subjective, whatever you're working with. Again, you're not calculating your mind, but this is what you're kind of working with. Force. Force, force, it's a whole other force, the whole other thing that you're gonna calculate separately. Force equals mass times acceleration. 
Well, that's a whole other fucking subjective so thing there. We have our givens yeah, mass, so. and then you're given acceleration mass. How are you going to calculate that? You know what I mean? It depends on the person. Like, same goes with area. It's all subjective to the human. Acceleration is even another formula. It's velocity over time. So, again, velocity changes with direction. Oh, that was one of my physics AP classes, like, uh, questions, and I fucking hate that. Velocity changes with distance. It is not consistent. If you change your distance, your velocity changes. You, your speed can stay the same no matter what distance you're going to. Ooh, that's some nerdy fucking yeah, shit so right it's there. Like when you get closer to the person, and then when you get like when you have more air between you versus when you get really close to a person. Yeah, exactly. It's going to change, gonna change the, positioning the yeah your body. positioning matters with velocity. So again, relative, relative. So so I and then some, yeah. hold up, and then we have again time that's all subjective. So acceleration is its own subjective thing. You're multiplying by mass, which is this other subjective thing to get force, which is a, which is a subjective thing and then again force over area subjective thing equals pressure do you get my drift i'm trying to connect these formulas to you sex and i don't know i feel like it's it's not done more often to like understand that there's i guess put put natural sciences in a very human context that is much more simplified not this complex thing it gets 10 times more complex than that and you can already see with the changing variables but it's cool. It's the oral formula, which is equal to just P equals F over A. And that's as simple as it is. It's a pressure fucking formula. So, you got any other formulas you're trying to, any physics nerds that are trying to sauce me some other sex formulas that they would think <laughs> would be relevant and funny and <laughs> have the context of physics and sex, send them over my way. You'll get some extra credit. Yeah, and I definitely think it's important to note that yes, it is subjective, but that's when you kind of have to take control of your situation and, and kind of ask the other person. Everyone is so different and just because one person might want it, the force or the pressure a little harder or softer doesn't mean a new person that you're with is going to want the same thing. So that's when you're like, so you ask. You exactly. I mean? you, this is you all case slowly, by case. Cause that, you, you know what I mean? You can't do it so fast because you don't know. Take your time and go slowly and gradually it will you know it will, it will you, play out the force out. the natural physics natural physics things you find in common that you are able to understand based off so many different types of complexities of the human biological species interacting with someone else yeah, um like it's so different even like just interacting i'm so short interacting with someone if you're like someone that's the same height that's you know what i mean yeah. versus someone that's shorter than yeah, you exactly. versus someone that's taller yeah. than you that's what they mean by area too exactly. it's like it's not always going to be the same with the positions with each and every person that you're with exactly and that and is the perfect, perfect segue, segue into, into our so session, session number two, two ladies and gentlemen but now session, session number, number three, three. three this is where it leads into hey body parts are so fucking different and everything you're going to calculate is going to be so different depending on what you're doing. So, we bring to you the famous, infamous Sokotoa. You fucking remember it. Unless you skipped class that day in math and so fucking sorry because this was a pretty big <laughs> chapter. And so if you missed that class, you probably were bugging. That's what yeah. I hated about missing. Like, oh yeah, I hated about missing math class. I missed one day of math class. I was, I was done. 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 I was like, no, my brain won't keep up. That shit's so hard. I would have to come. Like, literally for an entire week, I have to go after school to meet with her and be like, I don't, I don't fucking know what, know what I'm doing. doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, but, yeah. yeah. Shout, shout out to, to like, like, honestly, honestly my math teachers in high school. school. Like, like, I gotta give, I gotta them, gotta a give them a quick shout out. Like, Oh shit. oh shit! I don't know I don't if I can know give you a quick shout, shout out, shout out or, there, you know what I mean. But uh, you're doing some important things, clearly, because you and I. Ooh, I like your. You know what I mean. Yeah, it's my stick. You're just like. <laughs> yeah, like a cat, like when you like yeah. uh, do that. All right, so. Sokotoa. Let's bring it back to the famous, infamous Sokotoa. Okay, let's do Let's do. Let's just do a really quick overview about what the fuck is going on here. You know what I mean? This was a hard chapter in class, so listen up, students. I'm just kidding. We do whatever you want, skip. I'm not. I don't keep attendance. But all right. But we look at analytics. Yeah, we do. We do. We're watching the attendance, but we're doing it for our own sakes, not for yours. 
But anyways, all right. I'm just kidding. I'm really just kidding. We're all teachers here. And we love our students so exactly. dearly. So dearly. But Sokotoa, I got to give you an overview. What the fuck is Sokotoa? What does it apply to? What are you looking for? You are looking for right triangles. Sokotoa only works in that case. So that's why we wanted to have fun. You, you want to do it the right way, Gabby. As Gabby just said, yes. But, all right. We got right triangles. This is what makes it fun because you're trying to get your body position to fit into a triangle so you can match the <laughs> fucking formulas that pertain to the angle of your body position <laughs> yeah, in that right triangle. And I take like, control A. Yes. So this is where we're going. And we made the bodies shift into right triangle positions and some positions as we labeled some are giver positions and some are receiver positions so that's where we're gonna you're gonna get a little more aspect of when you're gonna do this so regardless is we're gonna keep the right triangle concept we have these formulas and we're relating it to your body position to your body parts to make a certain position for you to have sex based on sine cosine and tangent Theta thoughts. theta thoughts. We got theta A, we got theta B, we got theta C for these three different positions. And then Gabby, take us home. Okay, let's start off. So this is for a giver perspective, right? You are whatever you're given. Given that good, good mouth, I would assume that you're using your mouth but be creative out there, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off with your back in the air over here acting as the hypotenuse. Then naturally your, your legs and your thighs are gonna go over here acting as the opposite angle. Now, here, this is gonna form a right angle, but with your head, you are going to form the angle that we are trying to solve for because this is the angle of maximum pleasure. This is where this stuff You're is giving. Going to be happening. This You're is giving. What giving right there. Now, what are you giving? This You're giving spot over here. Thought. Exactly. A, that, yeah. You're working with whoever you're working with is going to be over here. And for any any like specific math nerds that are going to you know critique, just saying that the other other base part of that triangle is going to be on whatever surface you're going to be. You know what I mean? You yeah, make that whatever connection surface, to the exactly. head there. So that's going to, same goes for the other positions. The triangles are formed on two body parts based on the formula, and then the rest is going to yes. be on whatever position or thing is upon And then whatever slant and angle you want to work with, you can do it. You know what I mean? You, it varies. You know what I mean? It's yeah, always going to vary. The angle is always going to change. Yes, based, based on, on length. Based yeah. on length, exactly. Exactly, based on length, what what you're trying to do, everything, you know what I mean? How much you're receiving, you know what yeah. I mean? If you're, you're giving something, what are you receiving? You have to, that angle is going to be calculated by the, high, the, the opposite of the hypotenuse. And that's how you're going to find the sine of theta A, which is that given position, how where your head is posted. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have a receiver position. Do you want to take it away, Anna? Yeah, of course. We're going to do cosine with this one. Cosine of theta b that's what this position is called theta thought b so we got the the formula for cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so we tied that those body parts to your back as the adjacent over your legs as the hypotenuse and then usually that connection is going to be there so that angle that cosine angle is what you're going to be receiving with you flat on your back your head's over there and your legs are pushed upwards pushed upwards towards you creating that triangle dynamic for you the ultimate pleasure receiving position you know what i mean you're fully out there ready and it's an amazing position it's probably one of my favorites so it's a receiver position uh, yeah. cosine theta b yeah, you said it beautifully. I mean, could, any, questions? any questions? Any questions? <laughs> um, class, um, let's take a little break and let's do a little sponsorship. Shout out to our sponsors, The Street Supply. This is a t-shirt that I made, which is the same vibe, like vintage tees that they're going to be selling. But their main thing are sneakers and like shoe apparel. So please. Please check it out. The link is going to be in the bio. Like, thank you for being actually our first sponsor. And please check out, check out these tees. All right, we're going to finish, finish off 
finish Thanks up for sticking lives. around until we finish. Yeah, I hope you're all taking notes in your mind. <laughs> I hope you all are taking real So you're ready and prepared for this situation. For this exam, these real life exams, you know what I mean? Don't think of yeah. life as an exam, but you know what I'm saying. Like, this you get to put this into practice. This yeah. you put into practice. Life is a giant fucking exam, all right? It's exactly. a little too philosophical, but that's all where right, we are. so we are trying to figure out tan, the angle of tan theta C. Yes, do you, um, this no. is a good thing because it can be both a receiver and a giver position. Exactly. So we have a lot of variety. You know, we ha only had three, that is a only good three shit. triangles to work with, you, you know? Good shit. Yeah. And this this is our theory and you know there's a lot of triangles out there, isosceles, we can go on and on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, not, yeah. Exactly. There's so many triangles, but this is the right triangle the right because triangle it's just like what we got it's what we got in our mind the so katoa you know what i mean you got these formulas so we're going to finish off with tan again the formula for the we're going to do tan of sine theta thought c so tan of i don't know if that's fucking right you know what i mean but tan of sine c equals the out the formula for tangent is opposite over adjacent so here we made the yeah yeah opposite over tangent tan equals opposite yeah, yeah that's right. um so we're gonna do the angle of your rear again so it's kind of <laughs> like uh you know what i mean it's like this is a giver position but your receiver position we'll explain a little bit more there yeah. but if you get a wall right in front of you right that's creating the other face of the 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 position you have your head towards the wall you have your back towards your partner um you're <laughs> angling your your back to be kind of the hypotenuse but again the hypotenuse is not in this formula so remember that so your your the wall is actually going to be your opposite and the adjacent body part is going to be your thighs and that's where that angle is going to change for how much exposure you're getting <laughs> to the back but this is where this is a given position and a receiver position the position here is optimal for you to receive but you know you know that shit bounces back exactly so we're thinking it's not only a receiver position but it's honestly a very equal position in <laughs> energy and yeah. power and force that you're kind yeah. of um, giving to each other. So it's something that you want to kind of do back and forth. So you're not going to just be standing there and doing like a fucking like wall sit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just not standing there. You want to you want to be doing squat. Like, you know what I mean? You want to be like bouncing back, doing your thing, going in the motion, feeling the other people's, um, the other people's, <laughs> I don't know how many people <laughs> 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 motion yeah you gotta and, and kind of rock back and forth with it so this is a pretty equal exertion of energy i would say exactly and that's a whole other physics thing we can go into <laughs> later on but the exertion of energy the can like yeah. all so energy 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 baby these are the formulas that we've had stored up in, in our, our minds school brains now and we're adult brains and it kind of just came back and one day we were just thinking in the park and just we, we bought our whiteboard and we were just writing down formulas and naturally Anna connected it to sex. Yeah, we did. We, we, it made logical sense. Yeah, we're, we're like, you know what I mean? Like, I've been doing a lot of, like, doing a lot of research on just kind of like mathematics and physics and like its objective objectivity, okay. you know? And it's like, uh, mm. it's it's facts but objectivity. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's it being pre it being able to be a fact, all natural sciences mm -hmm. provides this standpoint that is all completely objective, and yeah, it's facts. You can argue that it is partially objective, but everything is subjective. So it's just like I don't know why, but this like makes, this made me think of like I was reading, I was watching some interviews about evolution and people who do believe in God and do believe in that like there is a higher being making all these things work out. But if you say evolution's wrong, you're saying chemists are wrong, you're saying biologists are wrong, and you're, the whole everything of knowledge that is created and quantified unravels. You know what I mean? So it negates everything, but also expands. It so also shows that everything is everything. The fact that it can negate everything, it can also be everything. So that's, yeah, why, so that's why this is a little out there. This is a little out there. You know what I mean? And it's like, uh, I know people talk about this, but this is not, this is not mainstream. You know what I mean? I want more mathematics and physics of sex. I want more people there. I want to chat with you guys. I'm going to be like, oh shit, I also thought about that one day. Like, this isn't anything new. I know people are out there thinking of that and putting those two things together. Things that are, you know what I mean? Physics know that everything is natural. Chemistry is natural. Oh my God. My, my, shout out to my close, close friend who's a 
she's getting a PhD in organic chemistry, but he's he's very on this vibe of like chemistry's everywhere. Like chemistry is everywhere, physics is everywhere, and like you know from like earth science, bro. Sorry, I'm going on this nerd no, chat tangent, it, but yeah. like earth science, like when you're in the ocean and you're learn, like you learned about surf water surface tension, you learned about waves and sediments, things that are going on on underneath you that are natural, that are quantified, that are you know what I mean, that people know and people can say like sediments lay in this area when waves crash in this form the gravity the velocity the all of it's like it's all so natural and also real and so like of course we're going to connect math and physics to our high school sex formulas you know what i mean we're going to make sex formulas out of our fucking high school minds because that's what we were taught and if we it's just the concept of that i hope all of you are riding on that and are listening in because they're like oh shit math and physics are everywhere and this is it's i don't know I don't fuck. I don't fucking know. But that's where that's where I'm at. And I, like again, everything is everything. That's why we love infinity. You know, everything is everything, and everything negates everything, and everything. Again, that's subjectivity. But that's why we need more philosophers in the natural sciences because we need it. We need more philosophers in economics. We need more philosophers in political science. Like, you know what I mean? Philosophers like, is something that goes in tandem with everything you're learning. Exactly. It's not something that it's like, you know, with philosophy, it's, it's, that would be amazing if you have mastered another subject and also have that philosophical knowledge to understand as well while mastering that subject or while reflecting exactly. or understanding that subject. Exactly, and that's why, like, me and Gabby, like, we, we both went to liberal arts schools, and just shout out to liberal arts education, it's like, you can be a, you are everything, because everything is everything, so that's why we learn philosophy of everything, you know what I mean, my classes were very philosophical in all different types of disciplines, because it, it translates everywhere, that questioning, that knowledge, those connections, philosophy is about making connections to make things, so you'd be like, what, what does one thing mean, and why does the other thing mean this, you know what I mean, it's just like, what are the connections, what are you trying to say, yeah. what does this mean? I think maybe our next episode should be some logic formulas because I have a whole logic type of a lot of formulas and what you were talking about how everything negates everything. So I think there can be an argument and there can be a false um, lie within the argument, but it doesn't have to negate the whole argument. So there could be something that's uh, valid, but it's not true. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, so it's like I don't like. That's why lawyers have cases. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like parse. This is kind of this truth, but this is kind of that truth. How does yeah. how does the actual truth written out in law match so this? Argue those little details. Yeah, those details yeah. exactly. So this is. Kind of the concept concept of that it just brings it all home together be like we are everything and i hope you enjoy that also shout out to my friend thomas um who told me that this was uh the the plot of season one of what of uh of uh what's that show that i watched you know what fuck you guys but like the show that i watched um i only got through two episodes because i didn't really like it. silicon valley Oh, I love it. I yeah, I know. It, this was like apparently he was like this. Like Thomas is like this is a, oh, the oh yeah of- because it's the it's not the slope of the penis but it's like the motion. <laughs> it's like the motion of doing something like backwards when they were just like jer- jerking jerking something off. So it's like doing something, <laughs> <laughs> doing something like opposite, but then like doing it at the same time and how it's like contradiction is actually working in favor of each other. You know what I mean? Like, yes. like contradiction. Oh. I think we have to come back to contradiction. I guess you should watch going. it. Yeah, I guess yeah. we should watch it. This is like a sneak peek to our next really deep episode. And like, um, our episodes are not consistent. And that's one thing that we are aware of. And yeah, that's why we like to take our time with things. And we, do, we recorded a whole other episode uh, last week. Exactly. But we figured we wanted to sit a little bit more with these formulas that we kind of started our own theory about. And also what I want to say about theories is everyone has their own theory and none of them are fully true and none of them are exactly. fully wrong. So that's why it's like make your own theory as well. Exactly. We, we, that's the key point. Like that's, I need people to have that in their head. Like theories are made of man. You know what I mean? Like man makes them up. You know what I mean? Because theories like my one of my my one of my econ professors like explained she's like a theory is just basically someone taking a flashlight and shining it onto mm-hmm. a perspective you know what i mean mm-hmm. but that's the thing is you can't just have one theory you need all of the yeah. flashlights you need the whole room to be filled yeah. with light you can't just look at it through one yeah. with only one light like a yeah. one one flashlight which is yeah. one theory which is why 
we question physics, we question economics, especially economics is one of those things because again, it's a quantified subject, yeah. but it's a humani- it's a humanities, humanities discipline, but quantified, so therefore it's much more objective yeah. in comparison to a philosophy of political science, et cetera, et cetera. Because just worries, there's like variables. Yeah, there's variables, towards, there's formulas, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's where the objectivity there, and that's where my professor was there's like, whoa, constant, yeah. There's some constant with it. That's theory, where my professor like, was like, bro, like, fact formula quantification does not equal objectivity you know what i mean because these are all theories these are all theories so therefore these theories can be changed and if we're using like no this is a honestly like really great change in like singles for what's going on right now politically and economically we stick to the same theories we'll only ever see things in one way you know what i mean we'll never move on like it's a theory theories aren't perfect they unravel that's why capitalism fails you know what i mean that's what we're saying oh like this neoclassical theory developed by people out of school that were like this is a theory this is how the free market works this is an invisible hand etc cetera, etc cetera. you know that shit like if any econ people like you know that that is a thing like you know what i mean markets crash there's homelessness people fall through the craps of capitalism you know what i mean like markets are crashing every fucking 10 years you know what i mean mm-hmm. stock markets go through waves it, it's not consistent it's not forever working it crashes all the time and yeah. restarts but the more it's going to crash, the more it's going to be unsustainable. The same These theories you are not use. always a rational number. You're not always going to no, get a rational because, number. There's because, irrational that's numbers the in math. Like, that's, that's, that's it just keeps on going forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever, and ever. That's exactly. So when you have econ, you have, like, for example, econ, you can't say, oh, every man is individualistic, so they're going to pick (laughs) this exact formula that's only going to help them maximize this exact thing. But it's like, bro, you need to take into consideration environmental factors. Those are are part of your variables, you know what I mean? But nobody's got that philosophical side to be like, oh, shit, that variable for time, fucking economists use time all the time. And that's one thing. If you're a fucking economist, a political economist, you write over and over and over again, the people that question time, you know what I mean? That time time the market it's you can't time it you can't time it you can't be on it you can't predict it but like time is such a subjective thing and then again there's no i can there's no econ like there's actual things left out of the formula domestic labor yeah. left out of the fucking yeah. formula women's everything left women's like domestic work left out of the fu- child kill left out of the formula health care left out of the formula yeah, you know what i mean so the there's formula. you're only shining a light in one manner you gotta get it all. You gotta get it all. You gotta get the physics. You gotta get the math. You gotta get the econ, the poly side, the language, bro. The world. You can unravel it. The more truths that just unravel with it, I guess. It's just theories are built on other theories. That's the one thing, Carl. I don't know if it was Karl Marx on it or like I don't know. Uh, probably. So you know, everyone, no, it's not Karl Marx. Yeah, that's what he's doing. The thing is, it probably, he probably did say it, and he's like, you know, am I the first one who says it? There's so many people that we no, realize. No, no, but it. I actually yeah, read the dude okay. who like physically said it in one of my po- in my political right. economy classes, and I completely oh, forgot. But he was just like, but nothing like, is new. New time. ideas are not new. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, They're right, built right, right. off on the same shit. Theories are just theories built on theories. Yeah. You know what I mean? Built on previous theories, built on the launch of theories. Like yeah. that's what they all are. We're so we can our theory off of these other theories. Exactly. Of the theories. natural thing, bro. We we I we like before we were thinking of gravity, we were thinking of velocity, we were thinking yeah, of fucking slope y, y equals like, mx plus b equals the slope of a penis. Bro, we were like, on some it. shit, but it's just like we, we condense it for you to guys get a little grip of yeah. where our mind was at. But it's the we gotta keep talking about subjectivity and everything. Yeah. That's why we're here. We're put on this earth to give you a philosophy podcast because if you're not questioning shit all the time, I don't know, you're gonna miss out on so much. You know, they miss out on so much Kierkegaard knowledge. Kierkegaard is one of my favorite um, inwardness poet. Kierkegaard? Kierk- yeah. K I E R K E G A A R D. Um, Kierkegaard. He died on my birthday, actually, so he honestly reincarnated into my body after. No, yeah. no, but I just felt, like, really touched with, from him when I read, because um, we dedicated a whole unit to subjectivity and objectivity because we understood in philosophy, we under, like, how yep. important that is. Because, you like, there's a lot of unanswered questions that we're not going to answer and we're going to accept that, but then that leads to more questions, so we might as well think about it and ponder. So that's and it. it was nice that philosophy class allowed us you know give us that time in the day to do that because 
it does take a lot of time. This is yeah. this is a lot, really time consuming for, for your mind. You know, I understand. Listen. Whoever's sticking with us till the very end like this and listening. Yeah, and, they're uh, philosophers. You. you guys are philosophers. Like, if you're sticking through and you're following our shit, you're philosophers. Like, that's you what are. it is. That's what philosophy yeah. is, is the discipline of questioning and understanding that everything is everything. Yeah. So that's, it's kind of, we, we spoil the rest of our fucking ever, forever, just to tell, tell you that everything is everything. Exactly. And that's us. That's stream of consciousness. Awesome. I love it. And that's us. We well, only yeah. took podcast in the galaxy. Thank you so much for being here. This is like a vlog style. Uh, it's like a vlog style podcast. And I hope you stick with us for the ride. Bye. Bye.